Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the estimates table function in Stata. In order to do so let's go ahead and load the census 13 data set using the command web, web use census 13 and just to give you a quick look at this data set it's a census data set on the demographic characteristics of the US states and so we see that we have variables such as birth rate uh, population, median age, and so on. And what we're going to do today is we're going to we're going to create a couple of regression models. We're going to store the estimates, and then we're going to create a table that aggregates them. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to talk you through a little bit of why you would want to do something like that. So in the first instance, I'm going to create a regression model where the dependent variable is a divorce rate, and the independent variables are population and region here treat it as a kind of a dummy variable and in order to do that we're going to use the i dot prefix in stata. So let's go ahead and generate that. And so here are the results of the regression. I'm not going to really talk through them because what's important here is just to show you how we can store these results next to another set of results. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to use the estimates store command and we just want to give a name to this set of estimates. Now if we were doing a bunch of regression models you'd probably want to pick a more expressive name than just A. Uh, you know you might want to if you're testing population and region for example you might call it pop region or something like that. Um, that's really up to you. The key thing is just to get this command entered and then to move on to whatever your next model is. And let's say that in the next model we want to uh, test the effect of the marriage rate on the divorce rate within the states. So we go ahead we generate that regression model and now we want to store the estimates again we want to use a different name this time because we've already defined A here so let's just go ahead and call it B and then finally let's pull up that estimates table the command is simply estimates table and then just the names that you've given to both of your estimates in whatever order you want to do it in and so that's what you come up with so you have your results of, uh, of model A over here your results of model B and you set up a comparison. Where this comes in uh, handy is when you're testing multiple models that are distinct from each other for a theoretical reason or for some operational reason. Uh, it's, it's quite often the case that uh, students, researchers have to set up more than one model and get those estimates and then set up tables of comparison. I'm not saying that this table here is perfectly portable to uh, to LaTeX or PDF or Word or however you know you want to get it done. Uh, that's really another tutorial how to take these tables and turn them into publication ready tables. But what we want to be able to do is just for the researcher to generate these tables so they can do a quick comparison. Now here we only had two models but you can imagine if we had three, four, five or even more models uh, it's, it's essentially impossible to just scroll through your different regression results trying to understand the differences between models. And when you have um, when you have your estimates table command you can just compare your coefficients right off you have your constant and so it's, it's, a, it's a really good way to compare what's going on in different models. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.